Last October, I took the plunge, spent around two and a half thousand pounds and bought myself a really nice used Roland TD30 kit. Now this is my first ever real foray into electronic drum kits. Until then, I've always played acoustic. I've always thought, you know, acoustic is king. It's the real deal. It's what you want to practice on because it's what you're going to play live generally. And I've realized in the last eight months how wrong I've actually been and how I haven't really given electronic kits the credit that they deserve. Let me explain why. Over here is where my acoustic kit, which is a Tama Star Classic, is usually set up. Now, I tend to use this as my practice kit or as my studio recording kit. I've got a great setup over there, but it does have its limitations. And the first of which I'm already seeing right now, which is that actually the kit isn't set up because I've been using it for some gigs, which means if I want to practice on it today, then what I've got to do before I can even make a start and play a note is I've got to set it up, which is probably going to take me 15 or 20 minutes and be quite a lot of effort and eat into the time that I would otherwise be self-improving. And that's not even mentioning the time benefits in terms of the fact that I came in here today at around 8.30 a.m. and I'll be damned if I wanted to practice on my acoustic kit at 8.30 a.m. without upsetting any nearby neighbors or anybody walking their dog fighting the life out of their border collie or whatever. So the electronic kit gives me all of the scope I need to literally just sit down whenever I want and just start practicing. Now I've made myself a few rules with this TD30, and one of which is that it's always ready to be played. Now, just like the opposite of my acoustic kit over here, which is obviously just the remnants of what normally is a drum kit, then over here, I always make sure that I never leave anything on top of the drum stool. I always make sure that the amp is plugged in. I always make sure that all the leads are plugged in. Make sure that it's ready, that I can just sit down and just get on with some practice as soon as I want to. Now what this means is that throughout the day I can get on and practice as many times as I want without upsetting anybody. I don't have to do any prep. I can literally sit down, switch the kit on, switch the amp on and I'm ready to go. And that makes it far more easy to practice. Now it's not just the amount of practice you do, but it's the type of practice. And one of the things I've really started doing, which I found massively useful, is actually limiting my practice time to generally quite short stints. Now I'm not really timing it with a, with a watch or anything like that, but what I am doing is making sure that I'm 100% focused while I'm on the kit. Now, of course, sometimes I will just sit down and have a play if I want to, make sure that you have plenty of fun with your drumming, that's really, really important. But if I want to practice something specific, something that's quite difficult maybe, then of course my concentration is only gonna amount to a certain amount of time. But if I use that throughout the day, what I can do is do some very focused practice sessions, but do more of them. Whereas if I sit down on my acoustic kit, what I tend to do is kind of start feeling guilty that if I keep getting on the kit throughout the day, that I'm gonna annoy the neighbors because I feel like, okay, this is my practice time. I need to start here, I need to finish here, and then I'm not upsetting anybody. Whereas with the electronic kit, I can literally go do a 10 minute laser focused stint and then jump off the kit when my brain starts going a bit funny. And then I can get back on an hour later, maybe after I've had a cup of coffee or some food, and I can do another 10 minutes. And I might repeat the same exercise hundreds and hundreds of times throughout the day, but I really feel like that is what's making the difference in my improvement in the last eight months. Without a shadow of a doubt, one of my favorite features on any electronic kit is the built-in metronome, the built-in click. What I tend to do is set it to a nice slow tempo, let's say something like 80 BPM, and I'll practice a very specific exercise and I'll keep doing it until I'm comfortable at 80 BPM. And then I'll go up, turn it up a little bit, a few BPM. What I tend to do with this one is just spin the wheel a little bit and that'll, that'll turn it up by seven or eight BPM. Then I'll practice it some more and I'll keep doing that bump it up, bump it up, bump it up, until I get to a speed that I can't play it anymore. And what I do then is I go back to 80 BPM and I start the next exercise. Now what I find that this gives me is a practice loop that means I never really get frustrated with myself. You know when you're practicing something you can't do it and you keep getting it wrong and keep getting it wrong and you try it again and every time you get a little bit more frustrated with yourself because you can't do it. What this means is that I gradually get to the tempo where I'm struggling and I practice that for a few minutes where I'm kind of on the cusp, can't quite do it, can't quite do it. And then I drop the click again and start another exercise, which I know I can do and gradually work back up to that tempo in which I can't do it anymore. Then I go to the next exercise, back to 80 BPM or slower, and then practice the next one. And then if I wanna start the loop again, cause I only tend to work on three or four exercises at once, I really don't see the point of working on 10 or 12 different exercises. But I find that this way, it really limits that frustration that I feel. And it means that every time I get on the kit, I'm having a far more positive experience. And 
as I say, this isn't something I'd really be able to do in practice in the same way on my acoustic kit, as much as I love it dearly, and of course would technically rather sit down and play that than this, as nice as it is. <laughs> so what's the takeaway from all this then? Well, not everybody needs an electronic drum kit. That's probably a fact. If you have a nice soundproof studio or you live in a converted barn in the middle of nowhere, then you can probably get away with doing whatever you want at three o'clock in the morning and nobody's gonna complain. But for me and for most people who live, as I say, on a normal street, a normal road, then the chances are that an acoustic kit is not always gonna be the best option if they wanna really, really hammer the practice. Now, of course, it's got its drawbacks. It's never gonna be exactly the same as playing a acoustic kit, but you know, they are getting better and better. I mean, my TD30 is at least 10 years old and it's still brilliant and I'll probably have it for another three or four years. Move it on, it'll still be worth decent money and I'll replace it with something that I'm sure will be even better, even closer to an acoustic kit, but still with all of those advantages. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want some more electronic drum tips and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.